Hey guys, it's SRC Reptiles, and I'm making this little video for anybody that may be in the same predicament. Of course, if you happen to be home when this happens, but the electricity went out at my house, and luckily I had watched a video that Leopard Gecko Talk, which used to be Leopard Gecko Talk, I think her channel is just Leopard Gecko now, but uh, she had made a video in the past of how to keep your reptiles warm if the electricity ever were to go out. And one of her suggestions was to move all of the reptiles into your bathroom and have the shower going so that the steam from that could help build up the warmth in the bathroom, thus keeping your reptiles warm and any other animals. And even if you wanted to sit in there, because I sat in here with them, <laughs> you also learn um, how uh, acrobatic your geckos can be while you're sitting in here. But uh, yeah, so all of the babies and the eggs and my snake and my leopard gecko, my gargoyle, everybody is in here. So I had the shower turned on with the curtain closed so that that steam would come up over the top here and come down here. I've got the window open because the sun was also really heating up the room or helping it stay warm. And with the shower off, it is at 68 over here, but over... Where the sun's shining, it's at 70 slash 69. When I had the shower going, it was at 72. But the electricity came back on, which is kind of amusing because I went and got everybody moved into the bathroom. It took probably about 20 minutes to get everybody rounded up and put into their containers. And then, of course, like five minutes later, the electricity came back on. So, <laughs> but um, the low today, um, or I should say when the electricity went off, it was 32 degrees outside. The house got down to 65, not like that's awful, but a lot of my reptiles I like to keep at at least 70 to 72, so when the reptile room got down to 65, I was like, okay, everybody's getting moved. So, I just wanted to make this video as an idea for you guys, if the electricity ever goes out, that way you have an idea of what does work. And this obviously works really well, but now I don't have to worry about it because the electricity is back on. So anyway, guys, I will go ahead and end this video. I just wanted to make it quick so that I could give you guys um, this information. Also, another thing you can do if you have deli cups like this, if you happen to have a box and a heat pack, you could always tape the heat pack. I would definitely suggest probably putting it like in a sock first or something and tape it in that box and that will also keep them warm. Uh, depending on how big the box is and how many reptiles you have, you might have to have several boxes with several heat packs. Um, if it's a reptile safe heat pack, you really don't have to put too much over it. Like just, let's say you put all the geckos in the box and you just put like a few pieces of paper, newspaper, something like that over the top and then the heat pack. If it is a heat pack for a person's hands, those can get like up to like 130 degrees, I believe some of them can. They might even be able to get hotter, honestly, but the ones I have can get warm. Uh, but of course you're supposed to have that between layers of clothing, not directly on your skin, but um, that's one thing you could do. Um, one other thing that Leopard Gecko Talk said that she did um, or would suggest would work was warming water and putting it in water bottles and having water bottles in each tank so that the reptile could be up against that water bottle to get warmth from it if they felt they needed to get some warmth. Um, obviously, I liked the shower idea better because um, you can have the shower warming up water as long as you obviously have warm water in your house, of course. But, heck, you could probably even fill the tub with some boiling water and just the steam coming up off of that would probably warm the room. But uh, if you don't have hot water and you could just boil, but then again, you'd have to, you know, obviously have electricity and stuff. Some people don't have electricity. Some people don't have water heated water so like for sometimes I kind of forget about that obviously it would really suck if that was the case but um yeah so that's just a few ideas obviously what I was about to say was the shower thing really works well obviously it was sunny today which is nice because obviously having the sun shine into a room is another way that it can help heat up the room what the heck is this Holy cow, Peep is so flexible. Look at this. <laughs> and this deli cup is only about two inches in depth, so it's like, what are you doing? 
Obviously, you're definitely going to have to get some larger deli cups. I put the gargoyle in this one because she's bigger. So, but, <laughs> yeah, you see some funny stuff when they're in totes. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I figured I would just let you guys know that this method does work. Um, it worked a little bit better for me. Some people have larger bathrooms, like my parents' bathroom is a lot larger, so it would probably take a little bit longer to heat up, but this bathroom is pretty small, so it didn't take too long, and I was able to shut the shower off. And then, of course, I noticed the heater came on, and then I was like, oh, the electricity is back. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.